So as we all know, Hallmark Channel really loves Christmas. They really love what is going. Woo! <laughs> they really love Christmas. During quarantine time, they like to show a lot of Christmas movies. Now, which is fine with me because I love the Hallmark Christmas movies. I love Christmas in general. I love the Christmas movies they put out. I I still have a lot to get to uh, from last year, but this is one that I did not get to watch last year. Uh, and it was on After a Christmas Detour, which I am not going to talk about right now. This one is basically a holiday engagement. A woman is, is supposed to go home with her boyfriend uh, for Christmas, and her, her boyfriend breaks it off. It's your typical Christmas love story. She hires an actor who's get, getting ready to do a big audition for a big role, and... They're going to fall in love. Big misunderstanding. And th the family's going to understand that she lied to keep them happy. It's basically ho holiday in handcuffs, but without the handcuffs. But it's also holiday engagement to a T. It's one where you feel the Christmas spirit in it. I, I felt like it could have been Christmas because it, it, it just had such a good Christmas feel. It's a movie like, say, A Christmas Story, Elf, Christmas Under Wraps, Home Alone for Me, where I'm going to watch it over and over again. I really enjoyed Holiday Date, and I'm really hoping that we get a DVD release to this, because this is one that, that I would buy. It's one that you need to watch when it's on again. Uh, check out Hallmark Channel every single Friday night at 8 o'clock, and they should have a Christmas movie up now, because apparently the ratings are up for them. So they just keep airing them. Holiday Date has some good acting, good chemistry, but most of all, it has the Christmas spirit. Some of the Hallmark Christmas films do not have the Christmas spirit. Like for me, Christmas in Graceland 2 was complete garbage. I did not like it. You are not going to do a Graceland movie without Wes Brown and uh, Kelly Pickler and still have the same feel. No, I, I'm sorry, you, you're not going to do it. The first Christmas... Well, the first Graceland movie was great because you were not expecting it to be that good. You were not expecting the budget to be that high. You you were expecting some Elvis songs, but good Lord, they packed some Elvis songs in there. And Kelly Pickler and Wes Brown have tremendous voices. Then you got Wedding in Graceland, which was great. It was also great. I loved both the movies. That one, no. It, it did not have the Christmas spirit. No chemistry between the characters. Terrible acting and a piss poor story. This movie had the Christmas spirit, and that's why I'm going to give it a higher grade than most of the other ones. Because all the other ones were good, but if it didn't have some of the big stars in it, then they weren't good. This one was really, really good, however, and I'm going to give Holiday Date an A minus. I enjoyed this film so much. I'm definitely looking forward to watching it again. I'm hoping that they keep on doing the Christmas uh, quarantine movies. And I will see you guys next time.